All right, y'all, welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've posted up stuff, or maybe I have posted up stuff, but anyways, a lot went on this week in the sports world. I didn't really talk as much, per se. Um, one of them, basically, is one, um, you know, we saw that uh, Staley got fired from the San Diego Chargers. I mean, L.A. Chargers, but it made sense. I mean, honestly, the way things were playing out, it, it made sense that he was going to get fired sooner or later. Uh, if he stayed out to the end of the season, I would have been really surprised. I mean, after the debacle of that Thursday night football game, he had to have gotten fired. If he stayed, I mean, it kind of sucks. The GM, though, getting fired, that was a little, it made sense as well, too. It's like cleaning house at that point, honestly. So the question now comes down to is this. Um, there are rumors going about now that Jim Harbaugh, Jim Harbaugh may come in as the Chargers head coach. Because one thing is, it's like he loves Justin Herbert. He loves his ability. He loves his skills. And they're at a point where they're not maybe Super Bowl ready, but they are definitely playoff bound and to make a deep run into the playoffs. And I think Jim Harbaugh can definitely do that and make changes within the next two years with the team that the Chargers have. Now, Chicago, of course, he could do that as well, too, because, like, Chicago, they're going to fire their coach. Of course, the question is, is, like, would Jim Harbaugh go to Chicago Bears? His, you know, team that he, you know, he started off with as a, a um, quarterback. It'd be really surprising if he does do that because the thing is, is like that are about maybe four or five years away. And I don't know if Jim Harbaugh wants to do that. But let's not forget, this is Jim Harbaugh. Now you're saying like, well, isn't he the coach of Michigan, you know, the University of Michigan? Yes, but this is the one thing that you, no one seems to realize. With all the sanctions that's going to come down onto Michigan, this is a guy that gets uh, knowing full well the getting is good where he gets out before things happen. So this is one of those things where I have a feeling he's going to leave. Uh, and I would not be surprised, quite honestly. Um, so let's take that into account and seeing that, you know, chances are it might be happening. Because, like, there's the other aspect as well, too, is Bill Belichick not being with the Patriots for next season. Belichick might be hired as the coach of San Diego as well, too. I mean, he needs a quarterback. We know he needs a really good quarterback to su succeed. Justin Herbert is the quintessential quarterback that will work out for any team. Staley, I hate to say this, I mean, he tried his best, but it wasn't going to work. And I think he lost the respect of his – I think he lost his locker room. He pretty much lost the locker room. They'll try out for their own perspectives to make sure that they could do good. But outside of that, I don't think they were playing for Staley. Now, now let's talk about the fact of the – uh, with the current game that's going on right now or the games that are going to happen right now. So we'll just do a little quick, you know, check up on this. So we got the Vikings and um, there are a couple games going on today, of course, as well, too. So we got the Vikings and Cincinnati Bengals. I'm on ESPN Sports, basically, you bet. So the line is basically um, the Bengals are giving the Vikings three. Um, so right now... Money line is 140 Minnesota Vikings Bengal. The way the Bengals are playing, especially with Browning, I would take the Bengals. They, I think they should win. And considering what the Minnesota Vikings, ha, how they played against the Raiders and they barely beat them that day, I would take the Bengals to win this game. Uh, Steelers and Indianapolis Colts. I think the Indianapolis Colts are running red hot right now and they're going for that playoff spot. Uh, I hate to say it, but Tomlin. Uh, Mike Timlin, I think he's not going to be able to squeeze anything out of his team. I mean, if it is, if Trubisky shows up, then you do a plus 100. But in reality, he's not doing well. I, if Timlin had a quarterback, this would be a whole different story altogether. But the fact is, is the Colts, I think, take this game. The Broncos versus the Lions, this is a tough one. I'm going to stay out of this because I'm not sure what would happen because, honestly, both teams are a little bit hot and both teams are a little bit off as well, too, based on last week's losses. But... Both are playoff bound. The thing is, is Denver has more incentive, not more incentive. They have more to play for. Uh, they can't, they, they're still in the hunt, whereas the Detroit Lions are pretty much there. They pretty much got the North locked. So I think, or sort of locked, but they should be okay unless they go on a losing streak. Um, now the Bears, for Sunday's game, the Bears and the Cleveland Browns take the Bears by three, basically for sure. I'll take the over at 38 points. Buccaneers and Green Bay Packers. I'll take the Packers by three and a half as well, too. And I definitely see the Packers going by 42 points because the way they lost to the Giants, I can see them going crazy on them. Uh, the Texans and Tennessee Titans. Ten Texans for sure. Titans, I think, are pretty much done. I would take the money line on the Texans. And I would take the, the uh, I'll take the total as well, too, over 37 and a half. Uh, Jets and Dolphins. 
it's definitely going to be more than 40 points anyway so go 40 i'll take this uh the total total points on there chiefs and england patriots yeah the chiefs are definitely going to win by eight for sure so i'll say eight for sure at this point i don't know about the total but yeah giants and new orleans saints new orleans is up by five and a half five and a half they're giving five and a half to the saints you know what as a giants fan, I, I i'm insulted by that i think they should be insulted I'll take the money line on the Giants plus two hundred on the on the Giants, uh, in this case. Um, Falcons and Carolina Panthers. Falcons, of course. Uh, even the total, they'll be over, it'll be over thirty three points anyways. Commanders and Rams. I'll take the Rams in this game as well too. I think they win by a touchdown, touchdown and a half, um, as well. Or, or, I'm going to touch the totals. Forty nine and Cardinals. It's Forty nine are going to win. The question is, is will they want to win by twelve points or do they? Uh, yeah, I would stay away from this because, like, honestly, I don't know if the Giants, Kyle, 49ers want to win by two touchdowns. I think they just won't care at this point because, like, they're pretty much almost in it. So long as they can win, they know they have it. Cowboys and Bills. Ooh, this is a good one. They have the they have the Bills favorite over the Cowboys. You know what? I hate to say this, but even though the Bills are, play, uh, you know, playing solid, the Cowboys, I think they're going to come out. I, I take the money line on the Cowboys. Definitely the money line on the Cowboys. That's a solid lock right there. Jaguars and Baltimore Ravens. You, I'll take the total. Take, take the total. Take, uh, take the total. They'll, it'll be over forty-two and a half for sure. Eagles and Seahawks. I'll take the Eagles, of course. Three, uh, and the total will definitely be over forty-seven as well, too. Yeah, I, I would stay off of that point and go with that. Basically, those are my picks from that situation. Um, outside of that, um, Staley, we talked about. Shoei Otani, we already talked about as well, too, earlier. Uh, I think I did a stream about that, and I was, like, a little pissed off about it, but it happens. Um, what else? Um, Zen, uh, Zion Williamson, I, already, I think I already talked about him and how he's the dude's got to, like, figure himself out, basically, because like, there's, I don't know what he's going to do about that. Um, Bama getting into the CF playoffs, I, I don't know, I understand how that happens. I think... Florida State was definitely robbed, of course. Um, but, I mean, it, it, how, I don't know how it plays out. Just because Bama was able to beat out Georgia, but I think Florida State should have been in that in the playoffs for sure. I mean, they they deserve it to be there. Um, I'm trying to look at all the other sports news because I, I know there's quite a few others besides Staley getting fired. Um Yeah, in any case, uh, okay, so Wimbledon beat the Lakers. The San Antonio Spurs beat the Lakers yesterday, as well as the Knicks. The Knicks beating out the uh, Phoenix Suns was a little bit of a surprise. Brunson having 50 points, and then Randall helping him out. I think, though, as a Knicks fan, seeing how other teams are playing, and like, you know, the way Halliburton played, and like how well he's doing and all this stuff, I hate to say this, but maybe the offense should revolve around Barrett, not Brunson or Randall. Even though they're good, I think Barrett is your superstar. I think you have to revolve around him. Run the offense around him. Let it go around him and let everyone play around him. You, I think Tibbs needs to nurture him a little bit. I mean, yeah, the fact that when he had um, Derrick Rose, it made sense, but it showed his skill sets. I don't know if, why. I, I could be missing something for all I know, but... I think the way Barrett was playing in the, you know, World Cups, the World Basketball Cups, basically, you know, when he was playing for Team Canada, he was doing really well. And I think because of that, I think you should just revolve it around him a little bit, maybe, and see what happens there. Uh, I think that works out in that situation. I'll be kind of curious to see if you you revolve an offense around him, basically, and see how that works out. Um, Yeah. And apparently Kobe Bryant made a... uh, uh, before you know his passing, of course, his untimely death. Uh, you know he did make a video out to show Itani when he was coming before from Japan into Major League Baseball. Uh, Kobe, you know, wrote a, created a video trying to recruit him to the Dodgers back then, and he still the the Dodgers still use it again, basically. And I, I don't want to say it was a deciding factor, but it helped out in his in his in his case. And, of course, we got, you know, um, the Championship League and Premier League coming up, or Champion Leagues playing up, playing right now. So we'll see. Interesting how to see how that works. And, of course, Draymond Green. That's the only thing I forgot I didn't really talk about. 
I, I don't know what to say. Honestly, it's it's a tough thing for Draymond Green. Um, something's going on with him. I think everyone points it out. He's got some issues, anger issues, or something like that. I hate to say he's but like, the dude reminds me of a Dennis Rodman, but for his outrageousness, but it's for fighting styles. It was for like Bill Lambier, Rick Mahorn. But in this case, this guy was like all out, went out, slugfest. The, the NBA has definitely, you know, is cracking down on these types of plays. And, and uh, basically, yeah, they're cracking down on these, uh, on these types of actions, basically. And it's one of those things where, like, Green, I hate to say this, but it probably is right for him to be, you know, suspended indefinitely. The question is, is like, I don't think he's going to make himself better. Just like John ja Morant. He had the ability to take care of himself. He didn't. He squandered the opportunity, and he's out. You know, Draymond Green, he realizes it. I think he's not. I don't think he realizes it. He thinks he's vital to the team, so he's going to come back eventually. I think the Golden State Warrior era is over. I think it's on to the new, which is either Milwaukee or, of course, Denver. Um, it'll be interesting to see. I don't know. Outside of that, that's pretty much it. But let me know your thoughts. Uh, subs uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. If you like this content. Let me know if you do like it or dislike it. Let me know with a like or unlike button so I kind of can figure out. And granted, it's early in the morning, per se, for my time anyways. Um, let me know. Uh, and p please put your comments in the comment section. I do read my comments, and I do respond to them when they weren't a response. Let me know what you think with my picks. Do you think that's right with my picks? Uh, granted, it's, the games I haven't played just yet, so that's why. I'm, I'm going to try to post it up as quickly as possible. I should have streamed it, but I was like, eh. What do you think about the Draymond Green? Do you think he, it was justified? Honestly, I think it was justified. I think he should just be uh, expelled from the league altogether. Expelled from the league altogether. Uh, as far as Daly basically being fired from the... Uh, do you think Harbaugh will be the Chargers head coach? Or do you think Bill Belichick... Because Bill Belichick is not going to be with the uh, Patriots. I think he's worn out his welcome. I think he's going to be gone. question is, do you think he'll be... I, I don't know if he's going to be a good fit for the Chargers. Maybe the Bears. But I don't think he's going to work out with the Chargers. Um, do you think it's going to be uh, Jim Harbaugh? And do you think Jim Harbaugh will either go to Chicago or San Diego, depending if he doesn't come? And do you think he'll be returning to the University of Michigan? I know University of Michigan fan wants him to be, but I doubt that's going to be the case. Uh, but with that, I'll leave it at that. Unfiltered, unedited, and of course, always unrehearsed. Until next time.